building improvement capability involves, I think, two factors. So one is um, to to gain some knowledge. Um, so through whether that's through a classroom, through a book, um, through something like the IHI Open School, where you've got a you know an asynchronous online uh, platform. So so it's getting information. It's maybe learning about concepts. It's learning about tools. And um, and then the other is uh, the applied nature of taking those and then going out and applying those tools and methods to actual work. It's the skill of actually getting to try out what's it like for me to uh, take data that I have and put it into uh, a chart that I look at over time. Um, it's uh, about being able to have an idea of something I want to try and being able to create a, a good test of change that you can use the plan, do, study, act cycle to try it and reflect on what happened and learn and come up with new ideas. Leaders want to develop people that are able to work independently. Um, that are able to serve uh, the mission of the organization and the customers and patients and families that we interact with um, in an effective way. Um, and we want problem solvers. We want people that can recognize when something's not going the way um, that we want it to or the way it's designed. And we want them to be able to be efficient in uh, figuring out what's going on and uh, making improvements um, and have them be uh, measurably different. Uh, and so investing in developing the capability of your staff to have a basic tool set and some skills and abilities and knowledge to do that, I think, is, is, uh, is very beneficial and something that every leader would want to have. <laughs>